fast forward a few years later, very short few years later, we meet Biggie. We, um, Tupac meets Biggie and then introduces him to us. Um, his music we all loved. Immediately began rooting for him and wanting to see him be successful. I remember him, uh, and I heard this with my own ears, stating to Tupac that he felt Puffy was taking too long with his contract. He was still hustling. He was still trying to figure it out. And he actually wanted Tupac's help and um, wanted Tupac to include him in the Thug Life album that we were working on at that time. And when I say we, I mean mostly Tupac and the members of Thug Life. And, you know, at that time, we, we, we the little homies, and so we're not having too much involvement. But we did work on a song called Running From The Police with Biggie, Stretch, Tupac, rest in peace, Gaddafi, Castro, and myself. And the original version had Local Vicious on the hook. I remember that night very well. A lot of prominent hip hop stars, record label moguls, um, actors, actresses all came by the studio that night to uh, witness greatness happening. This is before Biggie had his deal. He was still very frustrated with what was going on between him and Puffy. I also remember Tupac telling Big, yo, be patient. That dude can make you a star. And uh, ultimately, that's what happened. Biggie went on to be highly successful, a star in his own right. And um, unfortunately, he met his demise far too soon, as we all know. Fast forward, we had a couple of personal runnings with Puffy and I will always say this, man, dude has always had a vibe to him. And when I say a vibe, I don't say it in a positive light. It's a darkness that's always been around him. I don't know if that is from the initial situation that I told you guys about in the beginning, the, uh, the death at the, the celebrity basketball game that resulted in a lot of deaths. I can't put my finger on it, but it's always been just something about him. You know how you come in contact with people and it's just something about them and you can't put your finger on it? Well, yeah, there we go. Um, I also had a very interesting conversation with the late, great Pimp C, Chad Butler, um, Tony Snow, one of my favorite rappers of 